In this how-to video, we will be demonstrating the proper procedure for replacing a standard mechanical seal in an MP chem flow pump. If you have noticed the mechanical seal in your pump leaking an excessive amount, then changing the mechanical seal may be required to correct this issue. During the video, we will show both the disassembly and assembly procedures, and we will start this process at the point in which the pump has already been removed from the system. Disassembly Loosen the drive sleeve clamp bolts. Remove the pedestal assembly by loosening and removing the four bolts that attach the pedestal assembly to the adapter. Lift the pedestal assembly up and away from the drive sleeve and adapter. Remove the drive sleeve clamp from the drive sleeve by pulling the drive sleeve clamp off the end of the drive sleeve. Remove the pump adapter by loosening and removing the four bolts and lifting the adapter up and pulling it away from the housing. Remove the impeller drive sleeve assembly and the rotating element of the mechanical seal by pulling it out and away from the housing. The stationary seal face can now be removed from the adapter by turning the adapter over and using a piece of wood or screwdriver on the driver's side of the seal face and driving the seal face out of the adapter bore by gently tapping on the end of the tool. The rotating element can be removed from the drive sleeve by working the seal face and bellows assembly back and forth while pulling it from the drive sleeve. In a pump that has been in service for a long time, the seal bellows may have become bonded to the drive sleeve, so care and patience should be used during this process to prevent damage to the drive sleeve or oneself. Assembly One of the most important steps to a proper mechanical seal installation is to ensure you are working with parts that have been properly cleaned and inspected prior to use. Items that should be cleaned and inspected are the drive sleeve. The drive sleeve should be clean and free of burrs, corrosion, grooves, nicks, or pits that can provide a leak path around or under the elastomeric bellows or damage the bellows during installation. Scotch Brite or similar cloth can be used to clean the drive sleeve and remove any minor imperfections prior to reassembly. Seal bore. The seal bore in the seal housing or adapter should be free of corrosion or pits that would make it difficult for the elastomeric cup or o ring to seal the bore. The mechanical seal. Faces should be checked for cracks or chips that would prevent the faces from having a smooth, flat mating surface to seal against. The elastomers. Bellows, cups, and or o-rings should be checked to ensure that there are not nicks or tears that would prevent the elastomer from sealing properly. The adapter. The adapter should also be inspected in the area that the housing o-ring is placed to ensure it is clean and there are no nicks or burrs that will damage the o-ring during installation. Once these items have been inspected, seal installation can begin by lubricating and pressing the stationary seal face into place in the adapter or seal housing. At MP pumps, we use P80 synthetic rubber lubricant in all mechanical seal installations to aid in installing the elastomeric components. When installing the stationary seal face, ensure the side of the seal face with the groove or dot is installed first or down into the adapter bore, leaving the polished side of the ceramic face up to mate with the rotating seal element. Installing the rotating face on the drive sleeve will require lubricating the elastomeric bellows and the drive sleeve with synthetic rubber lubricant and then pushing the rotating assembly into place with the carbon seal face up away from the impeller. Do not compress the rotating seal spring. When the impeller is installed and the proper impeller clearance is set, the proper mechanical seal working height and spring tension will be set automatically. The rotating assembly should be pressed onto the drive sleeve only far enough that the entire bellows and face assembly are in contact with the back side of the impeller. Clean the seal faces with a cloth or paper towel to remove any lubricant that may be on top of the contact surface. Install the housing o-ring around the adapter or seal housing. Place the impeller and drive sleeve assembly into the pump housing. Install the adapter onto the housing using care to orient the adapter correctly and tighten the hex head bolts evenly. When doing this, use caution not to contact the drive sleeve end with the stationary seal face. Doing so may damage the seal face. Install the drive sleeve clamp onto the drive sleeve and center the drive sleeve clamp on the exposed portion of the drive sleeve. At this point, we are simply installing a ChemFlow pump pack onto a pedestal bearing unit. Do this by sliding the pedestal shaft inside the drive sleeve and tighten the four hex head bolts to the adapter. We are now ready to set the impeller clearance and the mechanical seal working height. Gym material should be approximately 20 thousandths of an inch thick and approximately 6 inches long should be used. 
While pushing the impeller drive sleeve assembly towards the pedestal using a screwdriver or other pushing device, insert the shim stock into the suction port and position it between the impeller vanes and the housing. Secure this setting by evenly tightening the drive sleeve clamp bolts. Once the drive sleeve clamp has been tightened, the shim material can be removed and freedom of rotation can be checked. If any rubbing or scraping sounds are heard, the impeller clearance should be verified again to ensure the proper clearance. Your ChemFlow pump is now ready to be installed in your system.